welcome to my views and news so viewers today i have two new stories the first new story is about fano fighters who uh, you know that entered bahidar and then they carried out an operation there so what happened in that operation what did they do in that operation i have details for you and second new story is an update about a french journalist who was uh, imprisoned by government so now uh, he has been released how has he been, uh, he been released i have details for you so let's start so viewers it was reported on this channel that fano fighters entered bahidar and then they uh, carried out an operation there and uh, later on they uh, withdrew from bahidar and then they returned so what happened in that operation is that fano fighters attacked martyr sites and the guards who were deployed uh, there were killed by fano fighters and viewers you know we know that uh, government Ethiopian government has been establishing a uh, militias uh, for uh, for months to fight against fano fighters uh, but they couldn't but uh, they couldn't fight against fano fighters and uh, you know that uh, fano uh, fire fano fighters uh, warned and threatened uh, threatened those people to not join militia militias but still people joined so that's why fano fighters uh, attacked on the uh, this uh, area to attack on the, this militias and they uh, actually they uh, attacked on coastal areas of bahidar they uh, managed to reach coastal areas of bahidar and they also released picture of and uh, going to coastal areas so the camps uh, where militias were uh, there in camps militias were living so fano fighters are uh, destroyed those camps and they killed those militias around abe gabriel the camps around abe gabriel was destroyed by fano fighters and the militias are uh, living in the camps were also killed by fano fighters and fano fighters to control eighth and ninth police stations they killed policemen and uh, the the uh, uh, the police station the uh, policeman of uh, a the commander of 8th police station was killed by fano fighters and the militias and policemen uh, have, uh, they were taken to hospital so it is being uh, uh, reported that uh, by pro fano news outlet that when fano entered uh, bahidar the regional government officials panicked and they tried to uh, go to uh, gondar through boat and where is this operation was launched by two fano groups south gondar fano and gojam fano fighters and they entered in by that from uh, several directions multiple directions they entered uh, bahidar and uh the civilian flights to bahidar were, were also di uh, disrupted and four flights delayed because of uh this uh the uh, attack uh, this uh, operation the carried out by fano fighters so the viewers let's move on to the second news story second news story is an update about a french journalist who was uh, in prison by ethiopian government his name is Anthony Glendo uh, to uh, so, uh, few days ago i also reported that anthony glendo uh, is a french journalist and he was working uh, for a website called african intelligence and why was he arrested the reason he was uh, uh, arrested by ethiopian government he was in prison uh, was reason was that he was accused by ethiopian government he was cons uh, conspiring with ola olaf olf because Uh, he was caught in interviewing he was interviewing and he interviewed olf's leader at uh, in addis ababa uh, at a hotel and that hotel's name is skylight uh, skylight hotel so you know that uh, ethiopian government came under pressure and then they released him but uh, when uh, it comes to ethiopian uh, journalist whenever uh, ethiopian government uh, keep 
any Ethiopian journalists uh, in prison, they keep them from uh, for months because uh, they are Ethiopian journalists. And since uh, Anthony Galando is a French journalist, he's a foreign journalist. That's why the government came under pressure and they released him. But uh, they keep Ethiopian journalists uh, in prison from for months. So Ethiopian government should uh, treat uh, Ethiopian journalists in the same manner. They should uh, treat both of them equally. So that uh, so that's it uh, for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.